Mm. Hello, I hope you're well. <coughs> I'm so sick. I just went out for my birthday. I went to an exhibition, sober. And um, I don't have the COVID, but I am really sick. Life has been uh, a lot for a lot of us lately. Yes, so. <laughs> And in a world that's making less and less sense to me, the only sane reaction I'm having at the minute is to paint abstract. No meaning. Void of meaning. Narrative. Nothing. Just want to paint weird things just for the sake of painting. Okay? I just want to paint. Forever. That's all I want to do. I just want to go for walks and have snacks and hang out with my cat. Go to ex- Okay, the list is really long of things that I want to do, but mostly I just want to paint. And I'm really sick of like narrative and meaning getting in the way of just sitting down and painting it's like i have these ideas visually in my head and then i have to figure out why i can't unsee this image and then i have to figure out what it means and then i have to figure out the best way to represent that and i don't want to do that anymore i just want to paint weird things like weird i'm forever obsessed with human anatomy after like nearly two decades of working on all different types of skin <laughs> sounds so creepy i'm still so dominated by like a weirdness of um human bodies like tan lines and bruises and cuts and stretch marks and sunburn and like dry skin hello like <laughs> blown out 20 year old tattoos underneath dehydrated skin it's wild and there's something about glazing techniques in oil painting that's the perfect way to replicate blue veins under like a, a like see-through but opaque layer of skin that's kind of what oil painting in old masters techniques is i think it's me as hyperactive when i'm painting is that i get like really amped up I'm like actually makes me feel and it makes me feel a little bit high i mean a little bit which is nice for someone that can't even have a strong coffee after two o'clock anymore. We ruined that for ourselves, didn't we? <laughs> I think it's because I, I look at it and in that moment I'm like, fuck, that's cool. And then actually I can't put myself down because I made the thing that I think looks cool. It's like, well, maybe I did something right. And at the same time that it's like, it's like void of meaning and it's more just about a replication of like, something I love like human body it's such an emotional exorcism uh, that's a weird way to describe it the shit that I'm dealing with while I'm sitting down physically painting is like coming out it's like oh uh, my god people are like if I'm tattooing it's like my therapy I'm, I'm about to say that about painting and I don't want to be that guy but it's a true <laughs> I can't spell painting without pain it's really helped me process some grief and trauma and I want to do is sit down and paint. So oh, uh, I'm going to stop talking and you can enjoy. Okay, that's all. Bye now.